guys, and welcome back to Mouse Ears Times 3. We are actually filming at nighttime because what do we decide to do? Watch a classic Disney movie. Lady and the Tramp. Yes. We actually can't show any footage just because of copyrights. But we wanted to show you the snacks we were eating and our pajamas and a few other things. So, what are our favorite snacks to eat while we were watching the Disney movie? Trail mix. Yeah. And um, chocolate covered raisins. So the raisins are from Costco. They also make them in almond form and they're so good. And so in our trail mix, we have Cheerios, pretzels, M&Ms, and Peanut. peanuts. Yes. Pretty good. And we also wanted to give a shout out to Brooklyn and Bailey's channel because we are wearing through scrunchies that they sell. It's the Rapunzel set. So yes. it's pink, purple, and yellow. Yeah. Yeah. Which is actually a coincidence because those are all our favorite colors. And they also sell mascara and hair clips. I think they sell hair scarves and a they few They sell other some things. jewelry. Yes. So you should definitely go check out their channel. It is really cool and they have some really cute merchandise. So I guess we'll start the movie and we'll talk to you later. Bye. See you in a sec. Okay guys, so we wanted to show you our pajamas. Mine is a 101 Dalmatians theme. So in the movie, um, what's his name? Pongo. Pongo, yes. Oh, Pongo. I think it's Bongo. Bongo, yeah. Or Pongo. Pongo or Bongo. I we don't even know that. I couldn't remember his name. Sorry. Sorry. But whenever Pongo or Bongo looks out the window, <laughs> um, he sees all these dogs that he wants to meet. And he eventually meets this lady and the little 101 Dalmatian mother, so. And then, and then, I have my nightgown. It says, not a morning person, and it has, you are sleeping on a crescent moon. I saw this one time before we were going to Disney World, and I wanted it, and I didn't get it. And then this time we went to an out, outlet mall, right? Yeah, an yeah. outlet mall, and they had this in the Disney outlet store, so. And then, hold well, on, let me show you Caroline's. Mine Here is the Aladdin. It's the cartoon, and it's supposed to look kind of faded, and it's, I think, after they sing The Holy World. So, yeah. Pretty good. Yeah. We are halfway through the movie, and we noticed something. So, the beaver on Lady and the Tramp, and then the groundhog on Lady the Pooh sound like they could be the same voices. And their heads even look the same. I know they're different animals, but their faces are like the exact same thing. Yeah. And they whistle and they talk. And so it could be the same person. So comment down below if you know if it is the same person or if you've thought the same thing before. Because, I mean, there's, to me, there's like no doubt about it. But, I mean, there could just be two voices that are really good at making Groundhog and Beaver voices. <laughs> Also, have y'all ever thought this the Siamese cats are kind of creepy? Because, like, when we were little, we used to, like, bawl our eyes out because we were freaked out. One time, <laughs> one time we were, like, three or four, and we were getting into our dad's truck, and that song started to play, and Vanessa and Caroline were screaming really hard. I wasn't crying yet, but then I smashed my finger in the door and so then I was crying and then I got scared so we were all crying and that's just the story of what started the really to scariness. The, to me the creepiest part about them is their voices and then their eyes. Yeah because whenever they it first shows them they just like pop out of the basket. Well the creeping out of the basket or box and like just their eyes are showing. Yeah and also I don't really like them because I feel bad for Lady whenever they like make the grandma i think she's the grandma it's the aunt or the aunt yes the aunt well are you sure it's not the grandma it's the great aunt yeah it's like a great aunt. yeah it's like a great aunt i don't like whenever they make her think the lady ruined everything yeah but it was then that makes me so mad because she's so cute but... yeah because lady actually likes the baby but then the aunt doesn't anyways we wanted to share that fact with you because we thought it was really cool well, it's not really a fact. It's yeah, a it's thought. not really a fact. It's a thought. So, we just... Come on, you're not in it. Okay. 
Okay, so we just finished Lady and the Tramp, and I really like that movie. It's probably my favorite classic movie. It is your favorite. You said it in the first, no, the second video. Oh, yeah, and so um, I think it's just really Disney, you yeah. know, because it is based off of one of Walt Disney's dogs. He got his wife a dog for like, yeah, Fun for fact. Christmas, and he decided that he, they would make a movie out of it because I guess they liked the dog so much. I also like the time setting in the movie because it's all like pretty and elegant. I also like how she elegant. calls elegant. No. Elegant. Sorry, I was thinking of etiquette and <laughs> elegant. I also like how she calls um them Jim Deer and then Darling. Mm -hmm. That's really sweet because that's actually what Jim Deer and Darling call each other. So I thought it was sweet. My favorite them. character is probably Lady. Because I actually, I have a stuffed, like, baby lady, and I really love her. <laughs> What's yes. your favorite character? Um, I don't know. It's between Jacques and Char, not Charlie. Trusty. Trusty. So, why I said Charlie is because whenever we were little, we thought that Trusty was named Charlie, and so I named my stuffed animal Trusty Charlie. So, now I'm just used to saying Charlie, but <laughs> Trusty is between Jacques and Trusty. Who's your favorite? Um... Either Lady or Peggy. Peggy yeah. Lee. No, actually, I think I figured out that, like, the person who does Peggy's voice, her name's Peggy Lee. So I'm not really sure if it's Peggy or Peggy Lee. Yeah. Anyways. We just watched the movie. We should know. <laughs> so we hope you like this video. And please join us next time on Mouse Ears Times 3. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give us a big thumbs up. Thank <laughs> you.